Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Logic Ops Lab. So, in the last video, we discussed about the pipelines. Today, we're going to discuss about the scripted pipelines and the declarative pipelines. So, guys, let's get started. So, if we move on, we can see that scripted pipeline is a traditional way of writing the Jenkins pipeline as a code. Ideally, scripted pipeline is written in Jenkins file on web UI of Jenkins. Unlike declarative pipelines, the scripted pipeline strictly uses groovy based syntax. Since this, the scripted pipeline provides huge control over the script and can manipulate the flow of script extensively. This helps developers to develop advanced and complex pipeline as a code. Now let's take a look at the syntax. What does the syntax say? So on the first thing you can say see that node and the bracket starts in that you have the node name. After that, you have to define your stages. So that's the first stage in which we have written checkout. So you can write anything. We have written checkout because the checkout is the first step uh, because your code from your SCM checks out. And I have given git and the github your repo name dot git. You can write anything over here. The number of steps can increase or decrease depending on your script or depending on your requirements. After that, you can write number of stages. So here you can see there is a second stage in which I have written a compile and then after it after that I have written any any command and you can write any command over here you can increase the number of stages you can increase the number of steps and accordingly for example if you are talking about a huge pipeline you will start from the stage one then you will have the first thing as a checkout after that you'll write a compile stage if you are working on a java based project you'll use maven commands over here after that you will test it you'll uh, create something out of it and that's what's going to happen so now let's move on to declarative pipeline which is the other way of writing the uh, syntaxes so declarative pipeline is a relatively recent addition to jenkins pipeline which presents a more simplified and opinionated syntax on top of pipeline subsystem so this is a new way of writing the application uh, the pipelines it's a bit similar to what we have studied in script scripted pipelines but there is a bit different. We'll have a demo today. On that, we'll understand how we can write declarative pipeline. Next, we are going to talk about declarative pipeline encourages a declarative programming model. So there is a programming model and declarative pipeline encourages that model. So, but in the scripted pipelines, they follow more kind of a imperative programming model. In declarative type imposes limitations to the user with a more strict and predefined. So there is a free predefined pre structure and that is imposed on the user which would be ideal for simpler continuous delivery pipelines scripted type has a very few limitations that too with respect to the structure and syntax that tend to be defined by groovy thus making it ideal for users with more complex requirement so a few people go for scripted pipelines a few people go for declarative type but declarative type is relatively new so a few people follow them but it's gaining more uh, popularity in these days so let's take a look at its syntax. So it starts from pipeline and then you have to write the agent. For example, I have writing, written any over here and then the stages keyword has to be there. So that's what we discussed in the last line or in the last slide that it has a very structured kind of a thing. And if you miss something, then it might not run. So in the stages, you can add any number of stages. So the demo and the example that we are going to see today will have four stages and in those four stages we'll be doing something so in that stages you have to write your name so that you can identify which stage is running so i have written first over here similarly i have written second over here and in that you have to write your steps right echo this is the first stage again i'm saying that number of steps can increase and decrease depending on your requirement once this is done it will move to the second stage and so so on and so forth so guys let's get started to the demo part now, go to your dashboard, left side, click on Manage Jenkins, scroll down and click on Manage Plugins. Click on Available and type Blue Ocean over here. So Blue Ocean is an art is a plugin, and once installed, you can see how it beautifies the structure of pipelines. Select Blue Ocean. We'll select two three options more. Scroll down and look for the other options like Dashboard for Blue Ocean, Pipeline Implementation. And we'll select the Git pipeline for Blue Ocean 
and GitHub pipeline for promotion as well. Once done, we'll click on install without restart. So once it will be included in your plugin list, you can see how it beautifies the flow. So let it happen. Um, right now it's pending because it's installing. Depending on your internet speed, it'll install and then you have to restart the server again. We'll just fast forward it to the last step. This will save you some time. Once done, click on restart Jenkins. It again might take time because it's restarting. And once it re it's restarted, it'll move to the login dashboard. Sign in. And on to your left, you can see a new option of Open Blue Ocean is up is up has is appeared. Now we don't we won't go it go in the blue ocean right now. What we'll do is we'll just click on new item. We'll create a pipeline today. So select the third option and create a declarative. Give just give a name of declarative pipeline. You can give any name. I'll just choose declarative pipeline. Once done, click on OK. And in the description, just write anything. We'll write this as a declarative pipeline. Once done, we'll see how it looks like and how it how the new Blue Ocean plugin beautifies it. Come down. The pipeline script is already selected, and right side you can say try sample pipeline. There is other option as well, but you have to choose pipeline script only. In the try sample pipeline, choose hello world. It will give you the basic syntax. You don't have to remember everything. You can see it starts from pipeline. It says agent any. You don't have to make any changes. You just have to take a look at stages. And in that stages, you have to write every stage that will be in. So let's just copy this and we'll just paste it four times. Right now, let's one time, and second time, and third time. Just make sure the indentations are correct. Otherwise, it will not run. Just make changes like stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. We'll create four. And do a minor change in the echo part so that we can easily distinguish between all the stages. So do not make any indentation change, otherwise, this won't run as we have discussed in the last slide that it is very much forced and it is kind of a structure that you don't want to change. We'll just copy this to add one more stage. We'll just make changes in stage four and the echo part. That's all you have to do, guys. Um, nothing else. Click on apply. And just save it. Once done, we'll move back on our left side. We can see that there is build new, build now, click on it, and the build will start. You can see below, click on it. It just got refreshed. We'll click on console output to see what, what's been uh, happening in our build. And you can see this is the console output. It will show you the stages, stage one till stage four. We have not written a lot of things, so that's why it's kind of a blank only. So what we'll do is, we'll just go back to the project and you can see a beautiful view of stage. Stages are, is appeared over here. You can just scroll through and just hover and things will appear. So this is kind of a view, uh, the basic view. Now click on open blue ocean. It might take some time to load because this is the first time and click on the first right, the green right that you can see on the left, click on it. And voila, this is such a nice view to see and it actually beautifies what is happening. So in stage one, what has happened, you can click and for every stage, you can click and see the console output. So this is how a basic Blue Ocean plugin beautifies your pipeline structure. And there are number of possibilities that can be done over here. We might see in future. In order to go back on your main screen, what you have to do, just click that arrow sign in button. Yeah. And go to your left. And you can see you are back to the project. Click on back to the project. And you can see the previous view. So that's the basic idea of how a declarative pipeline should look like and how do we create it. So in today's video, we have learned something about declarative pipelines, other pipelines, and the plugin Blue Ocean. So I hope you have got an idea on how things are done in pipelines. So thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next